Parenting is a very challenging responsibility yet very rewarding. We know that becoming parents is a blessing in itself. But despite we wishing our children all the very best in all their future aspirations, at times we struggle as to what best can we do so that we can secure their future. I'll help you in this regard. I have four very important tips for you which can help make your child's future the best. Let's start with what you can do the best. You should understand that every flower blooms its way. If I ask you, what flower do you like? Some of you might say rose because its fragrance is very good, while you then would say that even lotus is good because of the property or the characteristic that it grows in mud. And then you may say that maybe jasmine is also good because of its fragrance. So now you understand that every flower blooms its own way and has its own quality. So why not every child? I don't think we have any reason to compare your child with somebody because your child is unique and can have a very good future. You know what happens when your child doesn't want to speak up to you? You don't even understand what is his problem. And you then start inquiring from his friend as to whether he was group studying with you, whether my son is with you. Why does this situation arise? Because that you don't understand that you have to be a friend first and later inquire from other friends. If you communicate well with your child, his future will be secure because he will never fall into the bad trap of those friends who might mislead him. So make sure you remember this second tip that be a friend first and then inquire from other friend. Who wants their child to not have a good future? No one, right? You want that your child should earn well, should have a well settled job or maybe a source of income. Your child want, want to become an artist and you think that maybe that is not equally rewarding in terms of money. So it is good if his passion turns into profession, but there has to be a well-maintained balance between his aspirations and what is in the market. So understand that you can be as a support to him and be a guide. So this is the third very important tip that can help secure your child's future, that you become a mentor or a guide and help him choose his career well. Because if it is only on the sides of his passion, and it is not equally rewarding in terms of money, it may lead to a terrible life later. No child would require a Hitler parent, right? No child would require stern beatings. But make sure that if you are goody-goody in attitude, you do not promote indiscipline. Your child should not lead to, uh, you know, those habits like smoking or taking or consuming drugs or even drinking alcohol for that matter on a reckless basis. Try to promote discipline and not indiscipline. Now, how will this happen? If you yourself are indulged in certain activities, I think you need to be cautious because your child will follow your footsteps. You are like your child's backbone. If the backbone itself is weak, how will the child stand erect in his life's path? This journey of life is very beautiful. It will be equally beautiful and more beautiful in fact, if you and your child walk hand in hand. I hope these tips helped. God bless you. All the very best in your parenting journey.